everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about, all about, all about. Today's video is going to be all about my experience working in fast food. Eh, more specifically working at uh, McDonald's. <coughs> McDonald's, in case you didn't hear that. Hey, hi. So before I start this video, I know some of you guys are really like, you know, butthurt and stuff about certain situations and stuff. So I'm just going to say like, in no way am I trying to bash McDonald's like, or anyone that I worked with. You know, you guys are all annoying in your own way if you're watching this. I hate you all in your own way. I love you all in your own way. Right, let's get started. So the reason that I started working at McDonald's was because, you know, I was 16 there. I feel like at the age of 16, you can work at a clothing store. You can do work at a sneaker store. But the reason I worked at McDonald's is because it's a fast food chain and people are always going to be hungry. But people aren't, like, I don't know. I feel like it would give me, I felt like it would give me the most hours for my age. So that's why I started working at McDonald's. First things first, let me talk about being a crew member at McDonald's. Um... I wouldn't say that it was a horrible experience, but honestly, you guys, it was not, like, a very enjoyable experience. First of all, people think it's, like, so easy, and the work itself is not hard, but when you're doing, when one person is, one person is doing the job of three people, it gets very frustrating, and to be making, like, I know some people made minimum wage, to be making minimum wage and having to do so much, it's just not worth it, and it's honestly horrible that, you know, McDonald's workers, I feel... Or people in general that work at fast food get paid minimum wage for like so for doing so much shit. It's just it's bullshit. At McDonald's, you know, we weren't allowed to have colored hair. This is purple, you guys. I've been wanting some color on this ball head for a long time. Okay, so we're not allowed to have purples. We can't have nose rings in. Guys have to shave, and I kind of get it because you know those nasty little hairs that they have on their face. I got a little bit on my chin. <laughs> Uh, can fall into the food and I get it I get that but like so many rules and regulations and so many this and that that we have to follow but we're getting paid minimum wage like how, how can people even like pay their bills off of min minimum wage and I just feel like a lot of the times managers look down on their crew as like I've even had this one manager say like crew members are like the bottom of the bot like at the bottom of the barrel and I get what she meant up to a certain extent because at the end of the day you know it's crew, manager, assistant manager, general manager, etc. But the fact that they have that mentality as though like we're beneath them when they're just making two dollars more is just like come on like uh eh, you're busting your ass for two dollars more and yet I'm at the bottom of the barrel, like, we might as well be at the bottom of the barrel together. Like, let's just live in this bottom of the barrel together. You see, this is the bottom of the barrel, and I'm here, but you're right here. You're not very further up, so I'm just going to pull you down, and you're just going to live down there with me. All in all, I would say being a crew member just sucked ass because you get treated like shit. There's managers that, like, have problems with you for no reason, and sometimes it's just so much freaking drama in one workplace, and I will say there's drama sometimes because a lot of the people are ghetto, like, no offense, it is what it is, I don't give a damn. Like, some of the people are just ghetto, and they start problems with you for no reason, and even managers do it sometimes, and it's ridiculous. Like, I had one manager that literally, like, didn't like me for no reason, and I was one of the best workers there, so it's just like... Now, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the customers. Um... I'm not really going to touch on this subject too much because it's very touchy. I do believe in good customer service, and I'm the type of person that enjoys, I genuinely enjoy, like, sparking up conversation with people I don't know and, you know, getting a good laugh in here and there. Uh, here and there. I just love making people feel good. And McDonald's and a lot of places have the, the rule that the customer is always right. Do I agree that the customer is always right? I honestly, I don't. The customer is not always right. Like, let me give you guys an example of just how assholeish people are. I could say, hi, welcome to McDonald's. I don't really say welcome to McDonald's. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, um, give me a cheeseburger and a small fry. And say there's a train going by because there's um, a train station close to our McDonald's. Not a station, but a little train track or whatever. And say I say, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I said, give me a cheeseburger and a small fry and two apple pies. Mm. Okay. I just 
think sometimes they're a little too angry about the fake food and <laughs> did I say that? Sorry. Oops. I just think sometimes they're a little too um, upset about the f the food, the good quality food in which in which they're receiving and just like what side of the bed did you wake up on? You can't wake up on the wrong side because that's not even the wrong side. That's like you woke up under your bed. You hear me? You under your bed. At the end of the day though, I will say that working at McDonald's did honestly help me learn how to deal with rude people. When people are rude and they snatch from me and they call me a bee and a he and a she, you literally, all you do you guys is look them in the face, give them a good smile, have a good day. Now, I will speak on McDonald's, the company itself. I do feel like they should value their crew members and their managers more. I feel like the managers definitely deserve to get paid more than what they do. It's absolute um, bullshit that they do a lot. Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Managers do a lot and they deal with a lot of rude people and a lot of bullshit. And at the end of the day, yes, they don't have to do that job, but maybe that's, maybe they didn't go to school and that's their fault, I don't know, but maybe that's all they can do. You know what I mean? So I'm not knocking them, and I definitely think they need to pay crew members more because if you didn't have your crew members, who would run your business for you? If you didn't have your managers, who would be there to supervise the crew members and help them run, you know, the business better? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like the way people at the bottom of the barrel are treated is just absolute bullshit, and it's not fair, and it's wrong, and give them more money guys that was my quick and to the point um experience working at mcdonald's fast food i'm not at all knocking the company i'm very grateful that um you know i had the job in the first place like i said a job is better than no job i learned i definitely learned a lot while you know being there for almost two years i learned how to deal with rude people better i learned how to handle you know drama at the workplace or situations like bad situations in general and I don't regret being employed there but I am happy that I am moving on to something bigger and better so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed give a thumbs up I'll do more videos like this cuz you know hello but yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye